Well, hi there, people. This is just a real quick video, uh, hopefully a tip for people that have got things like these little um, 1S micro quads, which come with these really weird battery connector, which I've talked about before. And the problem is that this is a 2S balance lead linking to two 1S LiPos. Now, maybe you can charge with this on my battery uh, charger, which I think runs the same firmware as most others. If you plug this in, it will hit a connection break because it's only got a balance lead, it hasn't got a discharge port. So, how to fix it, and my quick tip. Three things, or maybe four things. First off, take a pair of snips and snip it. Arr, snip it good. With these two cables, you then wire strip it, solder it, heat shrink it. You're probably asking, what should I solder it to? Uh, for me, I've got a bunch of these little JST pre-made connectors which I can plug into my charger, which are quite handy. And what we get from the end result of that is a couple of these little things, which uh, will plug in to my charger and I can charge a couple of batteries from it. And it all works fine. Now, I have mentioned in the past about charging these things with these uh, little USB type chargers, and that's absolutely fine. It still work. What you don't know on these is what milliamp uh, rating they'll be charging at or the actual charge of your battery as you're going. So you plug it in and it could be half an hour, an hour, two hours, you just don't know. The advantage of using a normal charger is of course you get to see exactly how much charge is in your battery. Uh, so you've got an idea of how long it takes. take. More importantly, you can put those batteries on storage charge. Uh, now, it might be a little 1S battery, but it still needs to go on storage charge. When these things sag, you'll notice it just as much as a, a normal big size quad dropping out of the air if you've got a, a saggy 4S or something. So take care of them. Hope that's helpful. Bye-bye.